Hola, hola, mi gente. Melissa Miranda here from Miracles Within Us. And I am excited to be here with you today. I know it's been a very long time. And I am so excited to share with you my journey and to be here and to share and to be of service to you in this moment in time. So as we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me, see me. So I'm just going to pull up my computer really quickly and see that it is up. <laughs> and I'm excited to see you guys. How are you? Please leave comments below. I am very, very happy for that. Okay, look, let's see if I can hear myself. Yay, it's working. Yay. Okay, great. So today, I really, I'm here. It's the solar eclipse today, and I just feel so much energy, and it's the right time to be here with you. And I want to share with you a little bit around my journey and why I took so much time and what I've learned and how I've grown for Miracles Within Us and how I'm here now to serve you. Right? So part of my journey that I realized and with this year-long break has been a really self-love, unconditional loving for myself and towards Miracles Within Us. Miracles Within Us, to me, is an extension of myself and my love to the world. And for me to regroup, I needed to back out for a moment and take some time and really discover who and what I am here to do. Right? Who am I and what am I here to do? as a part of my service in this world and how can I share the light with you in this world and what I've discovered is that through this journey it's all just unconditional love unconditional love towards myself unconditional love towards you and it really got me questioning and really seeing the importance of like what is love and how do we carry love in our life and how do we let that be the way in which we live our world and what does that look like for the self what does that look like externally to the world and to other people in our environment and in this case for me personally my business my baby <laughs> right because miracles within us to me is an extension of me which is like my little baby in the world and I have so much love for you because you are a part of that journey for me and right now I just want to share with you around how this is moving forward and what miracles within us will start shifting into now a lot of you may know me for my angel work and all of that wonderful healing work and yes that is still very much a part of miracles within us and the transformation in which it is evolving to but my objective now and my mission that's very very clear is to be of service and to be of light to the world, to you, and to provide support and guidance through unconditional love, through the path of Jesus, the path of God, and the angels, and the beings of 100% pure white light. I am so privileged and blessed to be here with you and to be able to share these gifts, this knowledge with you, and I am looking forward to learning from you as well. This is a back and forth interaction between all of us. And I must say, I am nervous because it has been a while since I've done a live video. Yet, I know that this is supported and that we are here to support and love each other and move forward in this journey. So I really wanna talk about right now love and what love looks like and what self-love looks like. You know, at first when I took this break from the business, 
and wasn't really doing much really big things I still were doing things um, within the business but not on a big scale right and at first I was being hard on myself for not being able to show up and not being able to deliver and then I realized if I'm not in alignment then I am not of service to you and until I am in alignment I cannot help or serve the world so I now see that that was a moment in time I needed for myself to really just be ready for you and for us and for all of this manifestation of love into this world we are in a vibrational time of real importance we are all in this level of crossroads and these crossroads can really shift the way in which we move into our world how we start having more experiences and what I want to share with you is that no matter where you are right now however you are feeling right now know that you are loved that you are protected and you are safe even if everything doesn't seem to feel that way and I know this firsthand because I felt that way and now I know I was guided to do that to do it this way and to be here with you now and I want to share with you the importance of self-love and self-love practices and how that will help all of us become the best versions of ourselves and so that that best version of ourselves can then spill out into the world because that is what makes things shift it's through our love it's through our compassion and through our ability to be able to connect and not see separation separation is what causes so much pain Separation is what pushes us apart and what I'm learning. Hola, Alex. Hola, hola, darling. What I'm learning and seeing now is that only through connection and through unity and through love and through full acceptance will we all set ourselves free so that then we can all be in our joy and in our bliss and we are being called at this moment in time all of us myself included we are being called in this moment to put everything aside and to focus on the light to focus on the light within the light of divine in our connection with love hola Stella how are you it's been such a long time <laughs> I'm so happy that you guys are coming in. Please keep sharing, liking, commenting. I love, love, love that. I want to know what's going on with you, okay? I know I'm talking a lot about myself. I want to know what's going on with you as well. And right now, it is very, very important for us all, all the light beings, to shine this is our moment to shine this is our moment to show and to love and whenever there is a hard moment in our life one thing I've learned is that whenever there is difficulties and there is pain and there is suffering and there's disconnection and arguments or frustrations step back and try to feel the love feel the love Okay. Hola, 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 everyone. Ah, I'm loving all the love. Yes, yes, thank you. Now, as we continue, I'm going to burn some sage. As you know, sage to me is very, very powerful. It is a sacred plant that really cleanses the energy around us and really purifies us and helps us stay balanced and within ourselves. So Stella says, I'm leaving a 20 plus relationship with my kids. I'm so excited. <laughs> awesome. 
I'm excited that you are excited right I'm excited that this is the your journey of love right I'm excited that you are moving forward in your life and standing up for what it is that you love and support okay so now here we go I'm gonna burn some sage for all of us and my intention with burning this sage is that we are all cleansed cleared blessed and abundant anything that is holding us back may it be released may the love of God and Jesus Christ enter your heart and let that be the vehicle of how you shine your world how you shine your light and how you navigate your everyday life whether you believe in the universe or God whatever terminology in which you are comfortable with remember to connect with your light remember to connect with the unconditional love that is everywhere the Sun loves us every single day it shows up every single day like clockwork never fails us the air that we breathe is always available and never ask for anything in return and what we are now learning as a collective consciousness, as a collective union of humanity, is that what really sets us apart is our ability to have a consciousness and the ability to connect and have compassion and love with one another and towards others, even the ones we don't understand, right? Animals, anything the world the planet all of this is divine so I am just here I have no real purpose other than just to be here and to say I am back I am ready I'm ready to serve I'm ready to be of service and of love and to be a vehicle and a shining light to the world and as many of you know I am very open when it comes to the perceptions of my views of life and I am here to share that that has allowed me to be able to love so deeply so many different types of people walks of life so many experiences even the sad ones to be able to acknowledge and see them and love them for what they are and the gifts that they have provided in our life now I know it sounds all beautiful but I must say that this year off has not been an easy journey for me I've been through lots of sorrow and sadness many tears also also much joy experiences expansion so when it comes to personal growth and spirituality and building a life of connection and of unity with the divine it takes a level of responsibility a level of responsibility to yourself and to the divine energy of love the unconditional connection that connects us all that ability to interconnect intertwine and to be <sighs> right we have Stella she says I have too yes yes and yes this you know last year was a very transformational year and this year is still a very transformational year and what is shifting from last year into this year is that now we are able to surpass all the sadness and see beyond see the truth see the love see the light and that's what's being asked here oh hello Antoinette <laughs> hola hola and welcome welcome <laughs> so there will be a lot of things happening here at miracles within us but what I will promise you with miracles within us and with myself is that I am here to serve and to be the love and the light and the voice of reason of the divine 
okay, as much as possible. And that takes a responsibility on my part where I need to make sure that I am in alignment. And I share this with you because I want the same for you. I want you to be able to connect with yourself, your divinity, your connection with Jesus Christ, with God, the universe. I want you to be able to do this connection within yourself and feel confident in your decisions and move forward in a way that really unlocks who you are and the talents and the gifts that you have to share with this world. Hola, Dionise. Welcome, welcome. So, how can I be of service to you? Right? And what I would like for you to do, you know, whether you're watching this live right now or you're watching the replay, below this video, I would love for you to share some of the things you would like to start seeing or things that you would like support in. So some of the things I've been brainstorming on with my connection with divine and the angels and God and Jesus has been really providing a lot of healing energy to the world. So you will see a lot of more of that happening here where I will be sharing more healing, more Reiki, more chakra healings, more connection with love, with God, with the universe and with the angels and also our ability and our connection with our intuition. My goal here isn't to do the work for you, but to give you the tools so that you can go and do it yourself. See, when it comes to healing, it is an internal experience. It is an internal projection, healing, transformation, whatever word you wanna put in there, it is very internal. And as a coach, as a life coach, as a healer, as a being of light, what I can do is do the work for myself and support you in your journey. And that is what I'm here to do and provide for you. So as a beautiful gift, I will be offering 30-minute uh, complimentary sessions to whoever it is they want. I will send I'll have the link below this video um, and I'll add it into the caption and this is a non it's just completely all about you and where you are and what your goals are because I want to see you thrive I want to see you succeed I want to see you be the best version of yourself and for this to occur you yourself can use me as a part of that with this beautiful complimentary session okay so i'll have that information below if you do not see it just go to my website at miracleswithinus.com and you'll be able to book a complimentary session right on that on the page there so honestly i'm just really really here loving happy i'm so excited to be here I am more than excited. I am thrilled. I'm excited to hear you. I'm thrilled to know what is happening in your journey and to love upon you and to really just be that light with you. Right now, all of our shadow self is up in our face and it is telling us, look at me. And I want to just I want to talk a little bit about what the shadow self really is the shadow self is just the side of our of, of ourselves that we have not allowed ourselves to dive into right we have not allowed ourselves to fully express it and now the universe with this beautiful eclipse that's happening today <laughs> we cannot not see the shadow anymore the shadow is literally in our face. And if we are not allowing our shadow to talk to us, to tell us what it needs to release itself, we will continue to hold on to this burden, this sadness, and this suffering. 
And to release this suffering, we just have to confront who we are and where we are in life. And just be 100% honest and real with yourself. Where are you? And from there, you will move forward. And with love and compassion towards yourself, you will be able to move forward. One of the things that I learned most on this year break has been compassion. Compassion towards myself and compassion towards others. And right now, I have nothing but love and compassion towards you and your journey. So, what is self-love? What is that? I can't tell you what self-love is for you. I could only describe it for myself. And what it looked like for me was just full acceptance. And maybe for someone out there who's listening, that's all they need to hear is self-acceptance. I accept myself completely. I love myself completely. I am love. That's a beautiful affirmation that you can say to yourself continuously until you start feeling that within your heart. You are enough, my beautiful soul, and you are here to do something amazing. And you are here to share that light and to be a vehicle of light. You're not here to suffer. You're here to have experiences. You're here to explore the depths of love, of compassion, connection, and of unity. Don't lose sight of that, my beautiful soul. I know it gets really complicated at times with our everyday busy life. But connect back to yourself. Don't ever forget your connection with yourself and your divine, your connection with love, God, and Jesus. Don't forget the path. Don't forget who you are and where you come from. Where you come from is pure love, pure acceptance. And it's time that you start seeing that for yourself. It's time that you start believing that for yourself. And I will start doing the same as well. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Thank you for allowing me to pour my heart onto you. Thank you for being so kind to me right in this very moment. Thank you for holding space with me and being here. Thank you for being here for yourself. Thank you for putting yourself first. Thank you for loving yourself. And as you honor yourself, you will honor all those around you. And remember to have compassion and love. Compassion and love. And to stand strong for what you believe in. You are powerful, my friends. You are the divinity of love. You are magical. And I just, I just feel so much love right now. And I could feel the angels speaking through me very strongly. I had no idea what was going to come out of this mouth today. <laughs> but I am happy. And I'm joyful because I do believe and trust in the divine. And that it will work through me and will support you. And support me. So... I will be continuing doing videos from now on. I would love to see what it is that you would like to see here on Miracles Within Us. Remember, Miracles Within Us is about love, compassion, and support, and moving forward, and really just living our best life possible. And that is my goal, is to really provide you with as much resources as possible, and to help you have a better, deeper, profound connection with divine, and divinity and there are many ways that you can do this I'm just showing one of many and I hope that you find what works for you and that you move in that direction and I hope that we get to connect and share our love with each other so until the next time I love you unconditionally namaste I love you